When you're trying to get students to glissando for the first time, it's really important that you don't focus on the beauty of the tone quality, rather that they're getting the transition point as they're doing a glissando. So if you're doing glissandos the incorrect way, you're going more from, let's say I'm going from an F to a B flat. Now that's fine for me, but for a kid who's starting, they'll want to hear the perfect F and the perfect B flat. And because of that, sometimes they'll just stop their air supply, which happens naturally as we don't have to speed up the air as much when we're going in our lower range. So they might start like this. And you'll hear that my tone is kind of gross on the bottom end. That's because I dropped my air supply. Instead, we really want to focus, and it helps if we work with the mouthpiece, if the student is glissandoing down so they can hear all that gross stuff in between. It's not about being pretty, it's about getting all the smear in between. As opposed to... Because dropping the air isn't really what we're going for. It's trying to get all the stuff in between. So I don't worry about students having a beautiful glissando. Instead, more about getting the gross stuff, the meat in between. Because that shows that they actually know what they're doing with the airflow still being there.